Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to be talking about septic tank filters. So what is a septic tank filter and why do you need one? Well, let me show you. So here we've got the septic tank and here we've got a soakaway. And basically how the septic tank works is like this. The septic tank will fill up with wastewater from your property, from your business, wherever. It will then leave the septic tank. It'll make its way down this outlet pipe here and then it'll go into the soakaway and then from there, it will soak away into the soil. That's pretty much how a septic tank and soak away work. Now, in septic tanks, you get stuff called debris. So um, the debris would be stuff like condoms, sanitary towels, um, uh, pipes, nappies, all that kind of stuff, you know, vegetable peelings, stuff like that. And all this stuff, float around in your septic tank like so all right just like fish swimming around but obviously it's not alive and some of the debris will obviously fall to the bottom of the tank like so and what happens is over time this debris condoms sanitary towels baby wipes most a lot of it will float to the top of the septic tank it won't sink to the bottom and from there It'll make its way down through here into the soakaway. And over time, it, it'll block the soakaway up, like so. And that is why soakaways only have um, a lifespan of about 12, 15 years, because eventually they become so blocked up that it just won't soak away anymore. And so then you have to spend five, eight thousand quid and put a new soakaway. Another thing that happens well before the soakaway reaches its sell by date is say someone puts a nappy in and many people do or baby whites they tend to clock up clog up in the pipe here so once that's clogged up then obviously the liquid in the septic tank can't make its way into the soakaway and it'll just back up to the house now when that happens You've got to get a tanker man in. He's got to keep sucking your tank out at 200 pound a go. You've then got to get Dyna Rod or someone in. And they've got to dig down to the pipe here. And they've got to unblock it. And they've got to fix the pipe so it works properly again. So that's basically the general problems um, septic tank owners face. So this is where the septic tank filter comes in. Now, a septic tank filter basically goes in between the septic tank and the soakaway. And so you get something called a German silt chamber, right? And it looks something like that. And this is the lid here. And basically in here, you've got like a filter. And so it this filter allows the liquid through to go through the filter into the soakaway, protecting it, stopping it clogging up, stopping it blocking up, so it can just do its job, which is to let all the wastewater soak away into the soil. All right, that's clever, isn't it? And the debris that does leave the septic tank, let's say you've got tons of bits of debris in here, what happens is it, al it, it allows the water through, but the debris falls to the bottom of the tank here, uh, the bottom of the chamber. And also some of the cheaper septic tank filters, it gets trapped in between the bristles here, like so. But it, but it, generally 99% of stuff will actually stay inside this chamber here. And then what you do every six months, once a year, you take the lid off, you tip it into your wheelie bin and job done. And these things cost about I don't know two three hundred quid but they're so worth it because you know these problems normally come about on Christmas Day or you know over the school holidays you just want to take your kids out and have a nice time and then you can't go anywhere because we can't flush the toilets you can't empty the bath uh, because the soak away is blocked up with debris so these um, uh, septic tank filters I would recommend every single house 
has one, right? Probably 90% of houses um, with septic tanks won't have one of these, but I seriously recommend you get a builder in. As I said, uh, about 300 quid that'll cost you. He'll probably charge you a couple hundred quid to put it in. There's no electricity or anything like that. He's just going to literally just dig a hole and put it in the ground. But the point is, that's how it works. And um, you won't know why you've got one until... You, <laughs> and, 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 until you need one if that makes sense yeah all right or you um or you can suffer the consequences so basically that's it that's what the tip that i wanted to share with you today if you're a septic tank owner and you haven't got a septic tank filter then please 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 go and get yourself on to save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle so um, if you'd like to see more free videos like this one to give you free tips and advice and just go to septictank.co.uk or you can go onto Google and, and find my Septic Tank TV channel. Just type in Septic Tank TV into Google. And if you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV channel, you'll, you'll be in with a chance to win a free Septic Tank filter, which will save you, as I said, lots of money and lots of hassle. So thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.